Yo, in this video I'll be showing you how to texture a weapon. Um, for my example I'll be using the, a Barret I made. Um, and yeah, so I'll be using GIMP and Blender. Um, so if you're using Photoshop it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, do whatever you want. So um, the first thing you need is the high poly model. So this is just a like highly detailed model that is um what's the fucking you know got all the polys and stuff and then you need um a low poly model with normal maps so this is this is altogether about twenty k bits and um nineteen k polys or whatever um and for this I already have a normal map applied. So, I don't have to, it's just easier for me to texture with normal map. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do is make ambient occlusion. And to do this, we want to click our low poly, low poly model, um, select everything, and go to this render image here. And at the bottom, we have bake. Um, you, you can use your high poly model. To um to do ambient occlusion with um selected to active, but I'm not going to do that just in case it messes up. So um turn it off ambient occlusion, and you want to turn on normalized, and go into edit mode. Make sure everything's applied to the image. Go to your 3D view and just click bake. And I'll see if I can get it baking. So yeah, once you've done your ambient inclusion, you want to save it. So I'll just call this Barrett Dimensions. And um, yeah, once you set, so this is pretty basic stuff. Um. I had a lamp here. And to view it in Blender, um, make sure you have a light somewhere. Click your object, click the materials tab, create a new material, go into textures. Um, you can apply your normal here. I won't go into detail on how to do that stuff. Um, Yeah, so there's our Barrett at the moment. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is in GIMP, you want to find the um, what's it called textures you want to use. So first, we're gonna get the Barrett, the diffuse, and drag that into GIMP. Okay, so once you drag it into GIMP, it's gonna look something like this. Now the first thing I do is I create a new layer and I create the kind of I make a full black and just go over it completely. Oops, with black. Next I set the mode to multiply. Turn down the ambient occlusion to how dark you want it to be. So I want it to be like an average looking gun, kind of like um, like you'd see. I don't know, just black pretty much. So um, next you need some images of like you know what sort of texture you want. So I'm gonna have like a really mellow sort of um. Uh, concrete-ish texture, I guess. I'm gonna add this image here. And once it adds... As you can see, it's kind of a bit... a bit much, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Because... I don't know. <laughs> so, um... You can just... stretch the image. Doesn't matter. Well, it depends. <clears throat> if you want it to look good, don't do this. But, um... For me... I don't know. Just do it. 
Um, so once that loads, it'll look really like really shit, but um, you it'll be really noticeable. Trust me. So next I'm gonna go colors. Uh, colorize. Set the right saturation to none. Click OK. Now I'm gonna set this. Normally what I do is I play around with the the modes and layers and stuff to see what really um, suits or what fits. Then I set the opacity. It's basically ten or something. And oh man, that's pretty good. You can you can kind of see the stains. It looks kind of middle-ish, I guess. But yeah, so it's got quite a few stains already. All I've done is add one image. Um, next we're gonna get metal. So honestly, this is pretty much based on the images you get. Um. Like, if you know how to put them together and make them look right, it's it's just easy. And that's where, I guess, practice comes in. Um, it's like, I don't know. Stuff to figure out yourself. So, I'm going to drag this about here. Drag this down a bit. And if there's parts like this, you don't want them to be seen at all. Or like this, pretty much any sort of um gradient sort of crap you just want to get rid of. So I add this, do the same thing. Um, but for this one, I'm not going to get remove any color. Uh, and I'll do that. So that's that's pretty much um. All I do for this, honestly. Um, okay, so, oops. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's all there is to it, really. It's not hard, but it does. You just need to get it right, I guess. There's no real um, tutorial sort of thing for it. You can't just like learn it off of one video. So, you should go try it out yourself. Um, next, okay, so for the grip, actually, okay, so I'll show you the, um, the grip, Barrett, and I'll show you how to make that, if it has one, I'm not, I don't remember, because you know there's a, uh, sometimes, oh yeah, okay, so, so here you can see it's got this kind of thing going on, um, now I've done this before, I just, basically I, honestly, I could use that for example. Sometimes I just like a grip texture and test my luck. Um, and if something comes up, you can use it, if not, then I guess not. Sometimes I have to make my own, but it just takes way too long. So, for now I'll just steal something off here. I'm pretty much just showing you the process of what I do. I'm not really teaching anything. So, yeah. Um, let's see the soaps. Uh, oh, that works actually. Okay, so uh, for the grip, I normally just um, I make it into tiles, and I. Yeah, let's uh, repeat that. There we go. Okay, so now I have this good looking um, grip texture. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to duplicate the layer, move it over, and um, what I'm going to do is, is I hide the layer, um, and normally I just kind of, uh, no, I normally just figure out ways, a way to like, or how they like the grip will look good, what I said just didn't make sense, but whatever, 
Um, and then I okay. So next, I select inverse and get rid of all of this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's that's pretty good. I like that. And what I normally do is I set this to a mode where it's um yeah that should be good. And I select none, duplicate this layer, move it across, layer, transform, flip it, and there we go. Okay, so now that's that's got what I got so far. I'm gonna overwrite this. And I'm gonna open it inside of Blender. Um Okay. So we can kinda of see it's already starting to starting to show. I have to get change the light to a sunlight. So now you can see the grip and the the grip and stuff will be done with um, normal maps too, which I'm going to create after this. Um, and I, I'll show you guys the final result too. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. like this is what I was going for. This look right here, like there's nothing much to it. Um, I'll show you guys the final result. Um, in a sec.